have it, right there. It's the Cape May Ferry. Heading out. We're almost all the way at the ferry, I guess the channel. We walked way back, like where the sunken ship is. Sunset Beach, that's where we're staying. And we made some good finds and I'll show you what we found. Mrs. Shellcase and kid just freaked out when she saw that. Look at that. That is a beautiful piece of olive. Beach glass. Look at that. A uh, sea glass. Sea glass. And look at what we just found. That looks like it might have been it's quartz. It could have been a quartz point, don't you think? Maybe? Nice. And then this guy is making a lot of noise up there. It's part of a plate. And I think that might be no, that's it. That's a shell. Plate, shell, and a brain. What is that? That's a brain. It's a certain kind of seaweed. I think that's like all air sacs and stuff. So that it's uh, buoyant. And a Cape May diamond right there. some fish bones like a towel or something this looks like little threads those are bones and that's probably its spine an X fish we've seen a couple of those today here's another piece of pottery right here that's cool. It's got like blue on it. What is this? It's unusual is what it is. But there's a little piece of pottery with blue on it. Desirable. And each one of these little compartments has an egg in it. But you 
find these washed up on the beach quite a bit. A lot of times they're really dried out. That's the World War II submarine lookout tower. And then if you head that way, you go towards the Cape May Lighthouse, and that's the way I'm headed. These are rack lines, these lines of debris that the wave action brings in, like that's the low rack line. That's probably as high as high tide got last night. This is probably from like a high tide that was like a full moon or something. But it's a beautiful day, it's like 50 degrees, it's a good day, it's, the wind is down. I'll see what I can find. There's some mature seagulls. Like especially that guy that's going out onto the waves right now. And then that little bird is a guillemot. And there's a lot of them out there today. And then you know what? A lot of them hang out on the sunken ship. It's a Sunday, so I'm surprised that there's not more people down here walking on the beach. There's a couple flying in formation. They kind of fly low, like pelicans in the south, just hovering right over top of the water. He's right there. Oh my gosh. Looks like a piece of candy. It's coming right to me. Wow, that is a beautiful piece of sea glass. That's my best find so far, and look at how empty this beach is. Right. Good size. These things, I think, are sponges. I don't know what they are, but they dry out. And they get real hard. Um, and crumbly. But they could be seaweed. I noticed that some of the birds were eating those. Like, sections of those. So, I guess maybe... Like a salad group for them. Wow, that's a great find. Right uh, above that blue sign is the top of the Cape May Lighthouse. I don't know what they call it. Maybe they call it the bonnet or something like that. But there's like a caged in part at the bottom of the glass section and that's where you can walk around. I think it's $10 to get in there. So that's Cape May Point Lighthouse. So this direction would be the Atlantic Ocean, and right about here is going to be the mouth of the Delaware Bay. Cape May Ferry is out there, going from Lewes, Delaware to Cape May. Goes back and forth a bunch of times a day. Well, this is a neat find. This is called, well, it's known as a mermaid's purse. But this is an egg sack for a um, either a skate or a ray. I think it's a skate. That's the um, the kind that are real elegant swimmers with the big wings and the long pointy tail. And you can see where it came out of the little egg sack. That's a cool find. They call these mermaid pouches. Oh, look at that. The whole bottom's all ripped open. Maybe that's where it came out. There's an intact... Sharks eye, I think. Yeah, that's the whole thing. And you always want to check and make sure there's no one living in these. Either a shark's eye or a uh, hermit crab. That's a small one, it's about quarter size. Someone walked right past it. They probably picked it up too, I bet. But you see why it's called a shark's eye? Because it looks like the eye of ocean creature. 
Not a very crowded day on the beach today. Okay, beach combing finds. This is two days worth of beach combing. Yeah, uh, two and a half days. Start with the bricks. You just get completely rounded out by the um, wave action. But look at the different types of clay that are in these bricks. They really form some cool patterns. It's a little piece. That's pretty neat. Now, stones are obviously uh, quartz. You always find quartz down here at Cape May Point. Um, here's some more quartz. These are Cape May diamonds. They're clear quartz, tiny little pieces, but when they're wet, they really shimmer like a, like a, like a jewel on the beach. Up here, we have like chalcedony and agates. We even have some, a uh, couple pieces of granite, I think. Uh, just picked up like these ones that have a line. Mrs. Shellcasing Kid tells me they're called wish stones. Uh, some solid black stones. I don't know if that's chalcedony or not, but it could be. Uh, this one that looks like it wore away in parts and then other parts are good. Uh, just the layering on this one was cool, kind of like the way this one got speckled. Just Oh, and then this one has pockets in it that might have been for quartz crystals, but also might have been made by uh, some kind of sea creature or something like that. But just interesting finds. And there's jaspers in here as well, like the reddish colored pieces are probably, or could be jasper. I'm going to just put it that way. Uh, one piece of red sea glass, a little pointy though, so we'll see about that. Um, some pottery pieces, including one that has some blue on it. That's a piece of milk glass. That's not pottery. Uh, all the sea glass that we found for these first two and a half days, including a nice piece of olive there. And there's another nice piece that's like, kind of like grayish, purpley. That's cobalt, but it's probably too sharp and we'll probably uh, throw that. But um, that little mermaid tear is a nice blue piece. Oh, and then we did find some that had lettering on them. So that's like the O and the K from uh, a Coke bottle. And then this is the bottom of a Goulden's mustard um, container from years ago. Bottle 7 it says on it. So lots of sea glass we found. Uh, getting into the shells, these are archetype shells. Uh, a couple slippers. There's a couple more slippers up here, but the stars of the show, oh, and a knobby whelk, like a really worn down like knobby whelk. That's a neat find. That's like the interior of it. Uh, the stars of the show here are the fossils. Look at this one with the honeycomb pattern on it. That is just really, really neat. And then this one is one of the largest ones we've ever found down here. These are probably corals, but they could have been creatures. But I think mainly they're corals. But look at this. Oh, this one's neat too. Looks like dinosaur skin or something. Here's a tiny little fossil. wonder if that might be some kind of tooth, but we know this one is a tooth. This is the find of the week. This is a fossilized shark tooth. Mrs. Shellcasing Kid found this and it's just a fantastic find. You can still see the serrations on the edges of it. It is missing a shoulder but it still has a good amount of where it was attached in the gum line. Just a beautiful find. And probably number one on our list of 
what we were hoping to find, and we've been looking for these for years. I, I think these are easier to find in warmer weather places and harder to find up in places like New Jersey and whatnot, but this is the first one we've found in years and years of beachcombing, and it's just a fantastic find, and I'm really happy Mrs. Showcase and Kid found it. Okay, those are our finds. Check back in. We'll have more beachcombing probably within the next couple weeks. Thanks for watching, and always be looking down.